talk about free speech. Um, you know, uh, um, you know, I'm not a huge fan of Jordan Peterson and, and Jordan Peterson's uh, philosophy, but but uh, you have to come to the defense of people when they're being attacked unjustly, even when you disagree with them about the specifics. Um, if you remember, Jordan Peterson came to prominence in uh, 2016, arguing against Canadian legislation that was going to compel, or by some interpretation, was going to compel uh, 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 certain types uh, or, or the right form of speech when it came to gender pronouns. And, and that's when uh, Jordan Peterson really made a name for himself for standing up uh, against that. Um, well, uh, now it turns out that the College of Psychologists of uh, the province of Ontario, uh, where I think Jordan Peterson has his license to practice uh, psychology, uh, is demanding that Jordan Peterson acknowledge that he uh, has lacked professionalism in a number of, of his public statements and that he undergo a coaching program of remedial education can you imagine? I mean, this is not funny, but can you imagine Jordan Peterson in a coaching program? I mean, <laughs> who is Jordan Peterson going to let coach him? I mean, the guy would run circles around anybody trying to coach him. I mean, it would be fun to have a camera at, a, at, at somebody attempting to uh, provide a coaching program for, uh, 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 for, uh, uh, for him. Uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, now, unfortunately, uh, you know, these kind of professional organizations like College of Psychologists uh, have uh, standing, legal standing. I mean, you could have a professional organization and you could be a member of it or not be a member of it. But these uh, organizations actually have the ability to license you or unlicense you or to kick you out of the profession and make it, therefore, illegal for you to practice. Uh, this is a, 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 a clear into inappropriate role for government. It's, it, it makes these kind of uh, uh, private organizations, quasi-governmental organizations, which is completely inappropriate. They don't have uh, any of the, uh, the standards that we have for, for legislatures or anything else. But more than that, it is a, a government intervention in a place where government intervention is uh, inappropriate. It's inappropriate for the government to license or not license, license in general. Um, again, I think uh, in, a, in a rational society, there would be college of psychologists who would license their members, but you could still practice psychology without that license. Uh, consumers might come and, and say um, uh, and, and insist on only going to those people who are licensed and, and uh, not wanting to be treated by people who are not. But we have given these institutions, this is true in the United States and true in Canada and true in all the Western world, we have given them uh, legal power, the, the, the power of the gun, the power to ban people from practicing psychology. What they are really threatening Jordan Peace, Peterson with is revoking his license to practice, which is not just uh, the, 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 the uh, license from uh, the college or the license from... Uh, you know, this organization, but it is a legal license. It would basically become illegal for Jordan Peterson uh, to uh, continue as a, psychologist, uh, as a psychologist, both a massive injustice to him and an injustice to his patients. I completely understand the college of, you know, a, a licensing board saying this person has said things that are unacceptable. We don't think he's okay to practice. Fine. But that cannot have legal standing. It cannot have uh, you cannot ban somebody from a profession because you don't like what he says. Uh, now, I wonder if Jordan Peterson agrees with me about professional licensing. Probably not, but it doesn't matter. Professional licensing with the impromptu of law is wrong, period. Um, so the college, uh, now what is it that Jordan Peterson has said that has offended uh, the College of Psychologists? Uh, of, uh, of psychologists? Well, part of it is comments on Twitter, um, and part of it is, is comments he made in Joe Rogan's podcast. Supposedly on November 22nd, the college panel released... Uh, oh, uh, so according... Uh, Jordan Peterson said... Da, 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 da. So the college is saying, the comments at issue appear to undermine the public trust in the profession as a whole, 
and raise questions about your ability to carry out your responsibilities as a psychologist, unquote. What are the comments? Well, he called Elliot Page the transgender actor by his former name, Alan, and used the pronoun her on Twitter. Now, maybe some people are offended by this, but this is speech. This is called free speech. Um, uh, let's see. Also, uh, you know, he called an advisor to Prime Minister Justin Trudeau a prick. A, uh, he made a sarcastic crack at anti-growth environmentalists for not caring that their energy policies lead to more deaths of poor third world children. Uh, so basically, uh, he's made uh, certain political, cultural statements that the college doesn't like. He is being... Uh, penalized uh, for, for, for speech, for political speech. Nothing about this has anything to do with his view of psychology, his treatment of patients. I mean, it would be something if they said you're abusing your patients, you're, you're yelling at them, you're sexually abusing them. You're, you, okay, he's speaking about his views on, on, on different issues, but this reflects badly on the profession as a whole. This is basically an attempt to silence opposition. This is an attempt to basically say, this is the party line. If you don't follow the party line, if you don't follow the political party line of the College of Psychologists, we won't grant you a license to practice psychology. He also, uh, uh, he also was, uh, uh, you know, he called a former client vindictive, um, and he objected to Sports Illustrated swimsuit cover of a plus-size model by saying, sorry, not beautiful, and no amount of authoritarian tolerance is going to change that. I guess this is all offensive speech and hate speech, and Canada, of course, doesn't really have a First Amendment. It doesn't have a protections of uh, freedom of speech. So um, they're using this to take away his license. Imagine... Doctors now fearing any public statement they make, a professional organization yanks their license. Lawyers, anything they say. Oh, lawyers. Well, it turns out that the Law Society of Ontario um, a, a few years ago tried to uh, have a mandatory diversity pledge for all lawyers. Uh, there was, luckily, there was a member revolt, uh, and that uh, was nixed in 2019. But yes, lawyers could be yanked based on what they say, based on their political point of view, based on their cultural, uh, their, their views on particular cultural phenomena. Professional organizations will now have, w w now have the power, or always have had the power, but are now using this power. I don't think this could ever succeed in the United States, given our First Amendment rights. But in Canada, where there is no strong protection for, for, for free speech, in Europe, where there is no strong protection for free speech, professional organizations now can yank your profession can exclude you from practicing your profession based on your political point of view, based on disagreements about not even issues related to your profession, issues related from completely outside of your profession. Um, so uh, it, it, truly horrible. Uh, John Peterson, again, uh, has written... Um, Quote, who exactly was harmed, how, when, to what degree, and how was that harm measured? He says, he acknowledges there have been about a dozen formal complaints since 2017. Wow. A dozen formal complaints in six years. That's an astoundingly good record given how public is. And one demanding a, follow of a formal reply. Um, you know, so it's... Uh, he says this, this process is punishment, and we all know there is no way in hell that John Peterson is going to go for coaching. So um, this is, you know, horrific. Uh, this is one of the most horrific, um, uh, you know, things that, that I've seen out there, of a clear violation of uh, freedom of speech and a clear abuse of power of the licensing organization. But again... Notice that almost all of these abuses come from the power we have given government. All of these abuses come from the fact that we have unlimited government, that we've given government unlimited power over our lives. 
And yes, in the United States, we might protect a certain segment of our lives, free speech, call it, uh, we'll see in a minute, uh, you know, that doesn't apply to a lot of other things. But, but the more power government have, the more we embrace a mixed economy, the more expansive that mixed economy is in terms of intervening in our lives, the more difficult it is to protect individual right or, or uh, freedom of speech or any right, any right. It all crumbles. And the source is this idea of mixed economy because this idea of giving government more and more power over our lives and, and disentangling government from its, from its only really purpose, which is the protection, the protection of individual rights rather than the violation of it. So on this, I stand with Jordan Peterson as, as much as I disagree with him on so many other topics. Thank you for listening or watching The Iran Brook Show. If you'd like to support the show, we make it as easy as possible for you to trade with me. You get value from listening. You get value from watching. Show your appreciation. You can do that by going to iranbrookshow.com support, by going to Patreon, subscribe star, locals, and just making a appropriate contribution uh, on any one, of those, uh, any one of those channels. Also, if you'd like to see The Iran Brook Show grow, please consider sharing our content, and of course, subscribe. Press that little bell button right down there on YouTube so that you get an announcement when we go live. And for you, those of you who are already subscribers and those of you who are already supporters of the show, thank you. I very much appreciate it.